Welcome back to Milroy, Minnesota on PrepSpotlight.tv as the Bemidji Blue Ox and Prior Lake Mudcats are getting set to go for Game 2 here in a Class C State Amateur Baseball Tournament. The 2020 Class C Minnesota Amateur Baseball Tournament is brought to you in partnership with the Minnesota Baseball Association and presented to you by Xfinity. Xfinity X1 is the hub for all things sports with the Xfinity Sports Zone. And Wings Financial, we're for people like you. And here we are getting ready for inning number one between the Blue Ox of Bemidji and the Mudcats of Prior Lake. The home team Bemidji out in the field first and Prior Lake will bat to start us off. So let's go through those starting lineups for the visiting Prior Lake Mudcats leading off and starting this one. Johnny Houston The center fielder, Luke Weber, will bat second. Corbin Cross will bat third. Alex Waterman will bat cleanup. And then Jake Lair, Ben Kelsey, Justin Hackett, Ben Morrison, and D.H. Jared Lair. And as you can see out there on the hill, it's Ethan Opsall in the orange jersey. He's a draftee from Atta. And we'll get ready here for first pitch, starting just a bit late, scheduled originally for 3 o'clock. It's 3.09 as Prior Lake and Bemidji get going. Strike one from Opsal, the pitcher for Blue Ox. And that one's slapped over to right field and into foul territory down for a foul ball over the head of the outfielder Turner Storm maybe misplayed a bit or lost over the head of Storm out in right field who looked like he got there in time Storm is jo joined by Cody Rutledge the manager and player in center field and Otto Grimm in left field Pitch number three upcoming. That one cracked over the first baseman's head. Out to Storm. Down for a hit for a leadoff. Base hit single for Prior Lake. Mitch Hendricks. Excuse me. Johnny Houston singles to start this game off. And that brings up Luke Weber. Number five. The second baseman for the Mudcats of Prior Lake. The rest of the defense out there for the Blue Ox. Brady Rutledge at third. Mitch Hendricks at short. Connor Mc... And that one's in there. Connor McNallan at second base. Basil Zuki at first. Cal Caleb Manicky will catch for Ethan Opsall. The lefty-on-lefty -lefty matchup as we have another left-handed pitcher this afternoon. There's a drag bunt down the first base line. Opsal fields it and throws. The runner will advance. So Opsal hopped off the mound, threw it to Zuki for out number one. But the sacrifice is successful for Luke Weber. As he gets Houston over to second base. Corbin Cross now, the number three hitter in this Mudcats lineup, will bat with a runner in scoring position. Ethan Opsall looks the runner and delivers chopper to 
second base, fielded cleanly by Connor McNallan, and he throws out cross for the second out of the inning. The runner does advance to third base. So Johnny Houston, 90 feet away for Alex Waterman, the cleanup man for the Mudcats, as he watches ball one go by. Sacrifice bunt after Houston's hit, and then a, that one's fouled into the batter, and then a ground out to the right side, allowed the runner on second to advance to third. Prior Lake hoping to push a run across early with two outs here in the top of the first inning. Pitch from Upsall. Hit to the third baseman. Hop, takes a nasty hop and a run will score. Houston trots home. And Alex Waterman drives home Houston and the game's first run. That'll be ruled a hit here in Milroy. Prior Lake up 1-0 on Bemidji. Waterman reaches first base with two out. After an RBI infield single. Took a nasty hop off. Looked like the lip of that infield grass. Jake Lair is now batting. Lines one right to the shortstop who picks a, the looping liner off out of the air before it can hit the ground for out number three. But the Mudcats, they do get one run, and we're headed to the bottom of the first inning with Prior Lake leading Bemidji. one nothing on PrepSpotlight.tv. What's special about high school sports? The passion. The excitement. The memories. Now a three at the buzzer. Go! Oh. It's good! Du Bois wins it for the Rebels! It's about impacting your community. Connecting your business to this audience. This is where your customers live. Where they shop. This is their circle of life. This is where your business should be. Connect with your best potential customers. This is your invitation. Get in the game. Welcome back to Milroy Yankee Field. And the bottom of the first inning. Ben Morrison on the mound for the Mudcats of Prior Lake. As the away team here in this state tournament. We'll face... The home team, the Blue Ox of Bemidji, Mitch Hendricks, will lead it off for the Blue Ox. The shortstop for Bemidji. He takes strike one from Ben Morrison on the mound. Morrison will be throwing to catcher Ben Kelsey. Corbin Cross out at third base. Alex Waterman at short. Second baseman Luke Weber, B.J. Benz. The first baseman, Jake Lair in right, Johnny Houston in center, and Mitch Hendricks in left. 
This one flied high into the left center field. This one's going back and lands, looks like, on the warning track. Bounces against the wall for an easy stand-up double for Mitch Hendricks to lead this game off. This inning off. The leadoff double high into the sky here in Milroy. Justin Hackett in left field chased after that one, but had no chance to get it. So now McNallan will bat the lefty. He cranks one to the right side. That one's well foul. Got a hold of it, did number four, Connor McNallan, the second baseman, but pulled it foul almost onto the street. Good opportunity for Bemidji to answer right back after Prior Lake scored one run in the top of the first. Mitch Hendricks on second. This one lined to right field. That'll fall in front of Lair in right for a base hit. Hendricks moves up to third. And McNallan with back-to-back -back hits now for Bemidji. And now here's the player manager, Cody Rutledge, batting third, the center fielder for Bemidji. Runners at the corners, nobody out still. As this one's tapped right back to the pitcher under the glove, look like it could be two, and it is. A run will score, but a 6-4-3 double play from the shortstop to the second baseman to the first baseman. Waterman, Weber, and Benz combined for two outs as Cody Rutledge grounds into a double play. Mitch Hen Hendricks does come home, delayed his move there as it looked like it might be picked off at the mound by Ben Morrison. Got under his glove and probably favorably so for Bemidji. For Prior Lake, I should say. This one's fouled into the catcher by Otto Grimm. Cody Rutledge won't get an RBI as he grounds into a double play, but it's now 1-1. We're tied back up. And Morrison misses outside, so... First two batters reached, and then the first two outs came on a double play. As that one's fouled away by the left fielder, Grimm. Two out here, and now no one on the base paths. One run in. Ben Morrison with the beard. The right-handed pitcher, number one, as he delivers. And this one's cracked shallow right center and hauled in by Luke Weber, the second baseman. So that's the third out of this inning. Each team gets a run in the first inning as we head to the second. Bemidji and Prior Lake on PrepSpotlight.tv.
Welcome back to this game between Bemidji and Prior Lake and Milroy. Inning number two, the top of the second as Prior Lake is batting for the second time. Jake Lair, the right fielder, takes strike one from Ethan Opsall. And then Lair skies this one into shallow left field. Shortstop going back, but it'll be the left fielder. Otto Grimm calls him off and makes the play. Quickly one out for Bemidji. That was Ben Kelsey, pardon me. Now it's Justin Hackett. This one's cracked to the third baseman, climbs up on him. Shortstop gets the deflection, but not in time to catch Justin Hackett running down the first base line. Nasty hop at third. We've seen many of those already over sat this Saturday's competition. So an infield hit for... And it'll actually be an error on the third baseman, as it should be Brady Rutledge. Misplayed that one, and there's a runner on with one out in the top of the second. Ben Morrison, the pitcher, knocks one to shallow right field, right center field, and the right fielder, Turner Storm, makes a running catch for the second out. Jared Lair now, the designated hitter, will bat with two out here and hack it on first. There's a strike in there for the number nine hitter, Ethan Upsall, a draftee from Atta, and the left-handed pitcher keeps an eye on the runner at first. And there's strike two. That one's cracked to the shortstop. Mitch Hendricks fields and throws to first for the easy out. End of the inning. So no hits, no runs, one runner left on base. We're headed to the bottom of the second inning. Bemidji and Prior Lake all knotted up at one.
Welcome back to Milroy Yankees Field on PrepSpotlight.tv. This one cracked foul to start off the inning. The bottom of the second, it's Turner Storm, the five hitter for the Blue Ox and the right fielder facing Ben Morrison. Ben Morrison allowed one run on two hits in that first inning as both teams scored one run in the first frame. Now uh, knocked but pulled too far down the third base line. Foul ball, one and two the count. Ben Morrison on the hill. He's turning 40 next week. Hoping for a Labor Day weekend birthday present early in this one. Inside, a flinch from the batter Storm. And that one just got a piece of as Storm was out front and fouled it back. Two and two the count to Storm. This is his first year with the Bemidji Blue Ox. And he slotted right in there into the middle of the lineup. And he hits this one high into shallow left field. Hackett will manage to get underneath it and make the catch for out number one in this second inning. Fly out to the left fielder for Storm, and that brings up Colin Rutledge, the designated hitter. You'll notice the theme among the last names on this Bemidji team. And as Rutledge takes one inside, Rutledge, one of three Rutledges in this starting lineup. Cracked, bouncer to first. First baseman will dive and get the glove on first base. A nice place play by B.J. Benz. His pitcher, Mor Morrison, wasn't going to get there in time. Scooped it up, did Benz, and then waited for one second, turned on the gas, and dove at the base for the ground out, three unassisted. Caleb Manneke now, the catcher, will bat. Lines this one right back to Morrison, who makes a good line drive catch at his knees. So a quick inning for Morrison as he retires the Blue Ox in order. 1-1, we're still locked up in a tie, headed to the third inning on PrepSpotlight.tv. Here's a high fly into left field, way back and gone! Deep. Brown takes his lead at first, the 2-2, lifted in the air, shortstop. Arnold backtracking, he's got it! And the Chanhassen Redbirds hold on. Bain pauses, this one hit in the air. Shallow right field coming on, coming on, it falls! It falls! And Elko wins it 7 to 6. 9 6 Millers here in the ninth. Pushing pitches. Swung on. Off the end of the bat towards second base. Hanson has it. Tags the runner. Goes to first. And the Millers are state champions. As Jeff Miller grounds into a double play. Welcome back here to the Class C State Amateur Baseball Tournament. It's week three in round three. As this state tournament will finish up 
on this Labor Day weekend. Play started last night with two games total in Class C. Three, three games here and three games as a high fly ball by Johnny Houston to left field. Left fielder Otto Grimm going back, and he'll make the catch. One pitch, one out. As the leadoff man, Johnny Houston, is retired. He scored that first run of the, the game for Prior Lake as we're in the top of the third inning. Luke Weber now will face Ethan Opsall. So six games here, or six games total this weekend, this Saturday in round three, two locations. Then the quarterfinals in two locations on Sunday, tomorrow. And the semifinals also on Sunday. Then Monday, the championship game. Grounded to the second baseman. Connor McNallan charges, slings it, and records the out. Good play by McNallan. Luke Weber is retired. Corbin Cross now, the third baseman and the three-hole hitter, will step into the right-handed hitting batter's box. Swings on a low pitch and misses. Strike one. Lined right back up the middle, and there's a hit for Corbin Cross. Hard hit ball on a low pitch. Corbin Cross, who his coach calls the best hitter on the team, Gets his first hit of the game and his second at bat. Now, Alex Waterman will bat. An RBI single for him in the first inning to drive home Houston. And now he has a runner on first with two out as he faces Opsal for the second time. Lined foul into the fence on the right side of Milroy Yankees Field here in Milroy. Just about a 15-minute drive east of Marshall, Minnesota. A little over two hours from Twin City area. 1-1 one, one, the score. Fire Lake in Bemidji. The Mudcats batting facing the Blue Ox out in the field. 1-1 one, one, the count with two out. Now 2-1. Two and one. Second game of this afternoon's set here in Milroy. Another game to follow and round us out between Bluffton and Sartell. That one's scheduled for 6 o'clock as there's strike two, two and two the count now to number 19, Alex Waterman, the shortstop for Prior Lake. Here's a pitch from Upsall, grounded to the shortstop. Fields throws and picked up nicely by Basil Zulke. So that'll wrap up the inning. One hit and one runner left on base. No score as the score is 1-1 between Bemidji and Prior Lake in the Class C State Amateur Baseball Tournament. Driven to the gap in right center, left center field. This one lands. They throw to the plate. It's not in time. Four and a walk. Runner going by her. And the pitch gets away. Byer coming home. There won't be a play. And Foley wins the game. Shorts and delivers. It's hit hard to right. And that is going to be over his head. And delivers an RBI double. 0-2 pitch. Inside corner, strike three. And that ends the game. He gets him on a cold third strike. He had two cold third strikes in the inning. Foul ball up the middle. Great stop by the second baseman. Firing the first and got him. But guess what? 
The Prior Lake Mudcats have just taken the lead. Hit. Hit a long way. Deep. Looking back, and it is gone. But and Matt Amber has opened this game up with a three run home run. Welcome back to Milroy. We're entering the bottom of the third inning between the Blue Ox and the Mudcats. Bemidji batting. Zolke in the left-handed batter's box as he grounds one to second base. Luke Weber fields and throws and on two, two pitches, Zolke is retired. That's out number one. And now the nine hitter for the Blue Ox. A great mascot name for Bemidji. Brady Rutledge will bat. He watches that one. A ball. Brady Rutledge, the third baseman for Bemidji. Number 11. Takes strike one. From Ben Morrison, ace of this Prior Lake team. As this one's chopped, foul. Bemidji, one out here in the bottom of the third inning. Two and two. Bemidji beat Maple Lake 6 3 in round two to get to this. Round number three this weekend. And there's another ball. The count runs full to Rutledge. Bemidji had a bye in round one, so this is just their second game of the tournament. And there's ball four. Rutledge reaches first base on a walk. And so now Mitch Hendricks who doubled and scored in the first inning will come up for the second time. One on, one out for Bemidji. That one's in there for a strike from Ben Morrison. Mitch Hendricks also a football player. Played football at Gustavus Adolphus. Bows that one away. Disappointed with his efforts on that pitch. 0-2 the count. It's the leadoff man for the Blue Ox. Number 5. The shortstop. Rutledge on first. is Cracked into a left field from Hendricks. Down for a hit. Hackett scoops it up, throws it back in, but that's the second hit of the game for Mitch Hendricks. He's two for two, and now there's two runners on. As a threat is mounting for Bemidji against Ben Morrison. Who allowed a run in the first inning and then recorded the side in order in the second. But after getting the first out on the ground out in this frame, walked a batter, and now has allowed... A single to Hendricks. Connor McNallan takes ball one. He singled in the first and then was erased on a double play. He swings and fouls that one away. McNallan. The 
also pitches for this team. This one chops softly to the pitcher. Morrison fields and throws to first as both runners advance. That one slowly swinging bunt style went to the pitcher's mound and number one Morrison fielded it, turned and throwed for the second out of the inning. Hendricks moves up to second base and Brady Rutledge is at third. For Cody Rutledge. The center fielder. Two ducks on the pond for the manager slash player. Rutledge. Watches that one miss somewhere. It's 2-0 and the count with two out in the bottom of the third inning. 1-1 the tie between Prior Lake and the batting Bemidji Blue Ox. Cody swings at that into his leg. Cody Rutledge, he played baseball for St. Cloud State University. The winner of this game plays Cold Spring on Sunday in the quarterfinals that they'll be at 3 p.m. in Springfield lined over the third base bag and foul home plate umpire got out there and it looked like it was tracking to just pop over the base at third but called foul and that would have been a two RBI hit likely at least one but Everybody goes back to their places. It's 2-2, two -two, the count, with two out, and a runner at second and third. This one popped into deep left field, and Hackett is under there to make the catch for the third out of the inning. So two runners get as far as second and third, but Morrison gets out of the jam. No runs allowed. It's still 1-1 on Minnesota Prep Spotlight in the Class C State Amateur Baseball Tournament in round number three. Now backs up. Arnold serves one in the left, and that's a base hit. And Chan Hassan takes the lead right back. No one to Halleck. Back and off the foot of the pitcher. It bounces towards left field. Colpack coming home. The throw to the plate. Not in time. The game is tied at five. A one two pitch. Base hit right field. That'll do it. Matt Oy comes up and pokes one through the drawn in infield. And the Moorhead Brewers win it six to five in ten innings. This one driven to center field. Back is Rucker. Does he do it again? Yes, he does. Three home runs for Duffner. And it's ten to three. Gold Spring. Unbelievable. Run scored here. Today. Here's the 2-2. Two -two. Strike three. Another one gone. McCoy Rodney goes down on strikes, and there's two away now. And welcome back to the fourth inning, the top of number four. It's Bemidji and Prior Lake going at it. In round three of the Class C State Amateur Baseball Tournament, Ethan Opsal on the hill for his fourth frame of work. Facing Jake Lair, the right fielder, who lined out to end the first inning his last time up.
Now this one flied into left center field and more just in center and the center fielder makes the play for the out. That's Cody Rutledge. Out number one. And that'll bring up Ben Kelsey. Kelsey flew out his first time up against Ethan Upsall. Prior Lake Mudcats, one of two town ball teams in Prior Lake, Scott County, Minnesota, south of the Twin Cities, one of the southern suburbs. Is that one low? Three and one, the count. And that's a walk to Ben Kelsey. So he's on base for the first time tonight. Today, I guess, it's 3.48. On the first walk of the game for Upsall. Now Ben, excuse me, Justin Hackett. And he flies with the first pitch out to left field. And that'll be caught by the left fielder, Otto Grimm. So two fly outs so far and a walk in this inning. Two out now. And that'll bring up Ben Morrison, the pitcher for the Mudcats. Pitcher on pitcher matchup here. First time up, Morrison flew out to right field. As a right handed batter faces the lefty Opsal. Just crowding that plate is Morrison as that one misses inside near his jersey and elbows. 1-1 one, one to score here, top of the fourth inning. Morrison couldn't check his swing, and that's strike number one. One and one the count, two out, Nobody, or excuse me, one on. That's Kelsey who walked two batters ago. Now one misses, check on the runner by the catcher. Caleb Manneke throws behind Kelsey and can't catch it. His fellow counterpart catcher sleeping. <laughs> a pitch from Upsall. Swing and a miss from Ben Morrison. Two and two the count now with two out in the fourth inning. Prior Lake hoping to extend this frame. Morrison fouls it into himself. Prior Lake beat Kimball 2-1 in round two last weekend. Pitcher's duel in that one, but not the case in their round one victory. They beat New Ulm 13-10 in round one. And we'll see how many runs they put up here this afternoon. Already one on the board for the Mudcats. This one fouled away and pitcher Ben Morrison is making the pitcher Ethan Upsall throw some pitches and work up that pitch count with two out here in the fourth. This one chopped slowly to the second baseman Connor McNallan makes the play. That's the third out of the top of the fourth inning. We go to the bottom half of the frame. 1-1, one, one, Prior Lake and Bemidji tied up here in Milroy. 
What's special about high school sports? The passion. The excitement. The memories. No, a three at the buzzer. Go! Oh. It's good! Du Bois wins it for the Rebels! It's about impacting your community. Connecting your business to this audience. This is where your customers live, where they shop. This is their circle of life. This is where your business should be. Connect with your best potential customers. This is your invitation. Get in the game. Welcome back to PrepSpotlight.tv for the bottom of the fourth inning between Prior Lake and Bemidji. The Blue Ox will bat here in the bottom of the inning. Otto Grimm will lead us off, the left-handed hitter against Ben Morrison with a righty on the hill for the Mudcats. Thank you for watching PrepSpotlight.tv. As we've got you covered for the entire state tournament here in Class C as well as Class B and A. A, of course, wrapped up already. 80 total games on our docket here. Total for these three state tournaments. We'll have you covered all the way through this holiday weekend and the state championship game on Labor Day. It's one and one, the count, to Grimm from Morrison. Grimm, the left fielder for the Blue Ox. As the sun is shining here in Milroy on a beautiful day for baseball. Might be the nicest day we have left this summer. Swing and slow roller down the first base line. Morrison fields and shovels with his glove. And a great play to make the out. Morrison, the right-handed pitcher, has the glove in the left side, and he ran down the line as the runner, and the batter, Grimm, was rumbling down the line. Scoop, shovel pass, and the first out is recorded. And now the first pitch cracked hard to center field. That's Turner Storm, and that's hauled in by Johnny Houston. So now two outs in rapid succession. D.H. Colin Rutledge will bat now in this bottom of the fourth inning. None of the Rutledge family wear batting gloves. Ball two, two and zero. Oh, the count to the designated hitter, number eighteen. And he swings and cracks one to second base. Luke Weber fields and throws, picked nicely by B.J. Benz, and that's going to do it for the fourth inning. We head to the fifth. Bemidji and Prior Lake all knotted up at one on PrepSpotlight.tv.
Welcome back to Milroy, Minnesota. And the top of the fifth inning as Prior Lake batting against Bemidji. Jared Lair, the DH, the number nine hitter at the plate. He'll face Ethan Opsall, who has pitched four complete, entering his fifth inning of work. One run allowed. For Opsall, three hits. As this one's grounded foul down the third base line. Opsall has fared well so far. Did allow that first inning run. He's walked one. And heads up. Strike three, swinging and flinging the bat, was Jared Lair. And lost the grip on that piece of lumber. That's out number one. It's Johnny Houston. Adrenaline rushing after dodging that bat. He steps to the plate, the leadoff man for the Mudcats. Strike one in there for Opsal. This one tapped foul. Believe it or not, that was the first strikeout of the game for either team. We had a pitcher last night in the Cold Spring game with 13 strikeouts. And this one's grounded to third base. The throw from Brady Rutledge and the out is called by the umpire pointing at the runner even though the ball was on the ground. Calling interference I believe on the runner Houston. So that's out number two. Brady Rutledge threw it to Basil Zulke. Zulke didn't hang on, but there was a play at first, and Houston called out for the second out of the inning. Luke Weber now, Will Bat, takes ball one. And that one's a ball inside from Upsall. And finds the strike zone, does Upsall. He's back in there. The draftee from Ada for the Blue Ox, wearing orange. That one misses inside. Three and one. The count to. The number two hole hitter, the second baseman, Weber. Now he swings and flies that one foul, heads out of play on the left side, over the fence, out toward the porta potties. Three seventy five straightaway center here in Milroy. And this one's lined right up the middle. Grounds through the infield, bleeds on past the shortstop Hendricks, and that's a hit for Weber. That brings up Corbin Cross, who singled his last time up, the three-hole hitter for the Mudcats. He's one for two this afternoon. And that one crosses the plate for strike number one. 
to number 35. Corbin Cross, one of the clutch clutch hitters for this Prior Lake team. As he squirts one to the right side, that's fielded by the second baseman McNallen, and routine play is recorded. Now number three. So we're headed to the bottom of the fifth inning between Bemidji and Prior Lake on PrepSpotlight.tv. Welcome back to this contest between Bemidji and Prior Lake. The Blue Ox of Bemidji will bat here in the bottom of the frame in this round three contest. Class C State Amateur Baseball Tournament in Milroy. Springfield, the other site. As this tournament's coming to a close this Labor Day weekend. Two rounds will be held tomorrow as this one flied into left right field and a lunging catch is made by Jake Lair out there in right field near the warning track. Caleb Manneke is retired as he swings at the first pitch and knocks one deep toward that 348 sign but hauled in for out number one. And now it's Zolke. This one heading deep to right field. And that one's gone. Out of here, up and out. Basil Zulki yanks one over the right field fence and Bemidji leads two to one. Brady Rutledge will bat. See, so taps this one back to Morrison on the mound, looks at it, throws it for the second out of the game. The eighth inning. Now Mitch Hendricks, as we turn the lineup back over, will come to the plate for the third time and he's two for two today already with a double in the first and a single in the third already a run in here in the fifth inning as Basil Zulke homered to right field the fourth hit of the game for the Blue Ox Hendricks takes that one high for ball two. There's 
one strike on him also. Ben Morrison likes to work quickly. Shakes off his catcher and now agrees, throws. This one's popped up to shallow center field. Shortstop running back and lands in front of the center fielder, Johnny Houston. So that's a bloop single. Just fought that one off, did Hendricks. And he's three for three today with a sing two singles and a double. Connor McNallan now to bat. Looking for his second hit of the game. Two out. A runner on now. As he yanks one to right field, hit number two is the runner at second. Hen excuse me, McNallan. Hendricks will have to hold up. Hard hit by Connor McNallan. Back to back singles here. In the fifth inning. Cody Rutledge coming to the plate. He has come to the plate with a, at least one runner on each of his first two at-bats, but nothing to show for those two at-bats. Grounded into a double play in the first and flew out in the third. He fouls one back here. The center fielder for Bemidji. Two out, two runners on. Hendricks at second. He singled. McNallan also singled. He's at first. Ben Morrison, Prior Lake Mudcats starting pitcher. Throws that breaking ball low. One and one the count with two out here. Bemidji has already taken the lead in this inning. Two to one the score. Big swing and a miss from Rutledge on a Curve or slider down and away. And there's another pitch. This fastball low. Two and two the count. As we mentioned, the manager player, Cody Rutledge, played for St. Cloud State University. And there's a pitch. This one flown high down the left field line. Hackett running after it. And it was almost up against the fence as it falls in safely. Near the bullpen pitching mound. On the left side of this field. Rutledge will go back, pick up his lumber, and do it again. Two to the count, two out, two on. Bottom of the fifth. Bow back. Winner of this game plays Cold Spring tomorrow in the quarterfinals of this state tournament. Cold Spring beat Isanti last night here in Milroy. The pitch hit over the third baseman's head. The runner at second will round third and make it home. And now each of the other two runners advance after the ball goes all the way to Morrison backing up the catcher. So a hard hit by Cody Rutledge. An RBI single. And it's 3-1 to one Bemidji. A little shaken up on the play is the catcher, Ben Kelsey, stretching out his legs. And there's still two out and two on. A single for Rutledge, an RBI single, and he, he advanced to second on the throw from left field. He's at second. McNallan at third. Otto Grimm hoping for his first hit of the game.
Mitch Hendricks scored on that play. And that's a ball. 3-0 the count to Otto Grimm with Turner Storm on deck. That fouled right back into the netting for from Otto Grimm, the left fielder for the Blue Ox. Bemidji, known for the legend of Paul Bunyan and Babe the Blue Ox. Fitting name for this town ball club. 3-1 the count from Ben Morrison. And that misses low and inside. So Morrison walks Grimm. Just his second walk of the game here in the bottom of the fifth. Seems like it's been two outs in this inning for a while. Tur Turner Storm will bat with the bases loaded now. He swings and hits one down the third baseline. Fair. Two runners are going to score. Grimm holds up at third base, and that's a stand-up RBI double for Turner Storm. And the Blue Ox go up 5-1. to one. And they'll meet on the mound. Infielders and manager disperse. As the last five batters have reached, Ben Morrison will face Colin Rutledge, the DH. As Bemidji has now batted around, this is their ninth batter of the inning. Morrison retired Caleb Manneke to start the inning. And then a home run from Basil Zulke. And this one's tapped to second base from Rutledge. Fielded cleanly by Weber, and that'll end the inning. Nine batters bat. And Bemidji breaks this one open with four runs. They leave the bases loaded. They lead 5-1 over Prior Lake in the Class C State Amateur Baseball Tournament. Here's a high fly into left field. Way back and gone! Brown takes his lead at first, the 2-2. Lifted in the air, shortstop. Arnold backtracking, he's got it. And the Chanhassen Redbirds hold on. Bane pauses, this one hit in the air. Shallow right field coming on, coming on, it falls! It falls! And Elko wins it seven to six. Nine six Millers here in the ninth. Pushing pitches, swung on, off the end of the bat, towards second base. Hanson has it, tags the runner, goes to first, and the Millers are state champions. As Jeff Miller grounds into a double play.
Welcome back to Milroy, Minnesota. In the top of the sixth inning, after Bemidji scored four to break the tie and go up 5 1 on Prior Lake, and now it's the Mudcats' turn to respond. As they'll face a hard ground ball into the face or neck of newly entered Hunter Olson, who just came in as a defensive replacement for Brady Rutledge in this half inning. And that one bounced up and got him. There is an issue with that grass right in front of third base. Is that's at least the fifth or sixth time already in a game and a half that a ball has bounced up. And that caught him in either the neck or the face. What a way to enter the game for Hunter Olson. So the batter, Alex Waterman, reaches safely. And now this one knocked high into right field by Jake Lair. And caught for the first out of the game by Turner Storm out of the inning. Ben Kelsey will now bat with one out and one on. We call that an infield hit on that nasty hop for Waterman. Ben Kelsey, 1 0 the count. Swings, and this one over the head of Olsen. So that's a clean hit, line drive, and the runner from first will make his way all the way to third as Otto Grimm tried to corral that one and threw it in, but not in time to catch a speedy Alex Waterman running from first to third on a single. Kelsey at first base and now Jace, Justin Hackett. One out. Prior Lake trying to respond after Bemidji put up four in the last half inning. Prior Lake scored one run in the first and have only managed two hits since then and no runs in the next four innings. It's now the sixth frame. Strike one, one and one the count to Hackett. He reached on an error in the second and flew out to the left fielder in the fourth. Runners at the corners. Ball two. Swings and fouls that one sharply. Almost hit Morrison in the batters in the on deck circle. Ethan Opsall on the hill. Just allowed the one run so far, but in trouble here with one out and two runners on after allowing a infield single, not really his fault, and then a hard single to follow. This one swung through by Hackett. Strike three swinging for Ethan Opsall. That's out number two. Opsall's second strikeout of the game. Now at pitcher number one, ben, Morrison. ben Morrison will hit. Prior Lake, many of these players, Prior Lake High School graduates. As that one's in there for a strike, Morrison right on top of home plate, standing as far in as you can, and leaning out into the middle over the dish. Swings and taps that one slowly foul. There is a pitcher warming in the Prior Lake 
bullpen. So we'll see how long the leash is for Ben Morrison after he allowed four runs in that last half inning. Five runs total so far. 5-1 the score here in the top of the sixth inning. Time called by Morrison trying to adjust his uniform. Check on the runner, Bemidji. North to central Minnesota, Boltrami County. Population roughly 15 and a half thousand. And that one's inside. Close to the plate though, as we mentioned, Morrison on top of the home plate dish. And there's a pitch and Morrison swings through the off-speed pitch for a strikeout. So Ethan Opsal strikes out the last two batters to escape a jam for Bemidji. Two men left on base as it'll be the Blue Ox's turn to bat once again as we head to the bottom of the sixth of this round three matchup in class, the Class C State Baseball Tournament. You're watching Minnesota Prep Spotlight, prepspotlight.tv. Driven to the gap in right center, left center field. This one lands. They throw to the plate. It's not in time. Four and a walk. Runner going. Byer. And the pitch gets away. Byer coming home. There won't be a play. And Foley wins the game. Shorenson delivers. It's hit hard to right. And that is going to be over his head. And delivers an RBI double. 0 2 pitch. Inside corner, straight three. And that ends the game. He gets him on a cold third strike. He had two cold third strikes in the inning. Ground ball up the middle. Great stop by the second baseman. Finally the first and got him. But guess what? The Trial League Mudcats have just taken the lead. Hit. Hit a long way. Deep, looking back, and it is gone. But then Matt Ambrose has opened this game up with a three-run home run. Welcome back to Milroy, Minnesota, for the bottom of the sixth inning between Bemidji and Pryor Lake. Caleb Manneke takes strike one for the Blue Ox. He's facing Ben Morrison once again. There was a pitcher warming in the Pryor Lake half of the sixth inning, but Ben Morrison still out there and the pitcher is no longer warming up. That one's hit out into right field, down for a base hit. Manneke gets his first base knock of the game. That one sprayed out opposite field by the catcher, Manneke. Now Manneke, first base on number 26, Basil Zolke. Basil Zolke will now bat. He homered in his last time up, just one inning to go. That big inning for the Blue Ox. As the runner goes, the throw down, not in time. Straight steal for the catcher, Caleb Manneke. Got a good jump and beat out a good throw from Ben Kelsey. So Manneke is on second with nobody out after he singled. The first home run of the game for Basil Zolke in the last inning as the Blue Ox batted around after he cranked that one out and added three more after his solo shot. It's 5-1. Bemidji leads Pryor Lake. 
Bottom of the sixth inning. Nobody out here. 2-0 the count to Zolke. Five hits total in that last inning for Bemidji. Nine in this game. They already have one this in this inning. As that's a four pitch walk from Morrison, and now speaking of walking, there's a pitcher walking out to the bullpen, and the manager for Prior Lake will stroll on down to the mound, Greg Fowey. Taking his time, takes the ball from Morrison and hands it off. to Alex Waterman. So we will take a quick break as Waterman warms up. And we have a pitching change here in the sixth inning on PrepSpotlight.tv. And welcome back here to the sixth inning. We had a pitching change. Alex Waterman moves from shortstop to the pitcher's mound. He'll trade places with the starting pitcher, Ben Morrison, who goes to short. There's two runners on with nobody out here in the bottom of the sixth inning. Bemidji, the Blue Ox, batting. Squares to bunt and lays it down. And Waterman... Hops off the mound, thought about second, but decided to throw it to first base for the first out. A sacrifice bunt from Hunter Olson, who came in as a defensive replacement, and that's his first at bat after taking over for Brady Rutledge. Mitch Hendricks will now bat with runners at second and third. One out now, two on. Infield in. Uh. 
This one tapped foul. 5-1 the score here in the sixth inning. Prior Lake trying to avoid any further damage after allowing four runs in the last inning. One out. Infield playing mostly in. As they creep forward, an 0-2 count. Fouled away by Hendricks, who's 3-for-3 three three today with a double and two singles. Scored two runs, has the leadoff man, Hendricks. Watches that one miss, foul, excuse me, ball. Bemidji. As they tap one foul. Bemidji, not many numbers on their roster. They said they had low numbers due to the pandemic for their season here this year. They've already used their one non-draftee roster move. Hunter Olsen came in as we just saw him lay down that bunt. Swing and a miss on a high fastball. Strikeout for Waterman. Mitch Hendricks is retired for the first time in this game. Connor McNallan will now bat with two outs. And those runners still stranded there. Second and third. Fouled straight back. Big swing from the second baseman. He singled and scored his last time up. Two singles for him and a two for three effort so far. His fourth at bat now here in the sixth inning. Knocks this one to left field, slicing toward Hackett. And the flowing locks of Hackett gets there in time to make the catch. So Waterman comes in in relief of Ben Morrison and gets the job done. Gets out of the inning. It's still 5-1 here heading to the top of the seventh in this round three of the state amateur baseball tournament on prepspotlight.tv. Hit. Morris now backs up. Arnold serves one in the left, and that's a base hit. And Chan Hassan takes the lead right back. No one to Hallett. Back and off the foot of the pitcher. It bounces towards left field. Full pack coming home. The throw to the plate. Not in time. The game is tied at five. One two pitch. Base hit right field. That'll do it. Matt Oy comes up and pokes one through the drawn in infield. And the Moorhead Brewers win it six to five in ten innings. And White kicks and fires this one, driven to center field. Back is Rucker. Does he do it again? Yes, he does. Three home runs for Guffner, and it's ten to three. Gold Spring. unbelievable. Run scored here today. Here's the 2-2. Two -two. Strike three. Another one gone. McCoy Rodney goes down on strikes and there's two away now. Welcome back to Minnesota Prep Spotlight and PrepSpotlight.tv for the top of the seventh inning now between Bemidji and Prior Lake. The Mudcats of Prior Lake are batting in the top half of this inning. Facing, facing Ethan Opsall as he enters his seventh inning of work.
Jared Lair, the designated hitter, faces an 0-2 count from Opsal, and he swings and misses. In the dirt, catcher will have to throw, and the out is retired. Close play at first base, but now Ethan Opsal has struck out the last three batters he's faced. Didn't have a strikeout until the fifth inning, but now he has four. Johnny Houston now will bat. He was involved in that odd play in his last at bat. Hit a ground ball to the short the third baseman who threw. And the ball didn't get caught, but called out for supposedly interference by number 17 Houston at first base. He's one for three this afternoon. One out here. He faces an 0-2 count. Swings and fouls that one up into the netting. Bounces back. Almost hits Johnny Houston on the hop. And that one just sprayed over the second baseman's head and falls into no man's land. Softly hit single for Johnny Houston. His second hit of the game. That brings up Luke Weber, the second baseman, who had a hit in his last at bat. Lefty on lefty matchup here with a runner on base and one out. That one misses inside. Ethan Upsall had a good performance so far, as we mentioned. Just one run allowed. Prior Lake hoping to get to him in this seventh inning. They have now mustered seven hits together, but scattered around in that one. Grounded for the out to first base, unassisted. Three unassisted. That one goes to Basil Zulki. As it was looked like it was tracking to spin out, but it was a fair ball. Scooped up by the first baseman, and all he had to do was slide his foot over the base. Out number two, and now Corbin Cross will bat. He's one for three today. The runner moved up to second. That's Johnny Houston. Zulke thought about firing to second after that slow roller. Scooped up by Zulke, but not in time. And he decided to hold on to it. Probably the right decision. So Houston's at second. And now he's grounded to the third baseman. Olsen gets up, fires, and gets the out. Diving to his left was Olsen. Got up, slung it, and a good stretch by Zulke. And a good defensive play for the Blue Ox. So the side's retired here in the top of the seventh inning. It's time to stretch at Milroy Yankees Field. 5-1, Bemidji leads Prior Lake. Driven to the gap in right center, left center field. This one lands, they throw to the plate, it's not in time. This is four and a walk, runner going by her. And the pitch gets away. Byer coming home. There won't be a play. And Foley wins the game. Jordan delivers. It's hit hard to right. And that is going to be over his head. And delivers an RBI double. 0-2 pitch. Inside corner, strike three. And that ends the game.
He hits him on a cold third strike. He had two cold third strikes in the inning. Ground ball up the middle. Great stop by the second baseman. Firing the first and got him. But guess what? The Prior League Mudcats have just taken the lead. Pitch. Hit a long way. Deep. Looking back. And it is gone. And okay. Matt Amber has opened this game up with a three run. Home run. Welcome back to the seventh inning here on Minnesota Prep Spotlight. Cody Rutledge for Bemidji swings at the first pitch and flies it high. The first baseman for Prior Lake, B.J. Benz, backpedals far enough into right field to make the out. That's out number one on one pitch. Alex Waterman has entered, has re-entered the mound after entering the last inning. This is his first full inning of work that he's beginning. So now it's Otto Grimm. Grimm walked and made his way all the way to the third base before being stranded there in the fifth. O2 the count to Grimm from Alex Waterman and strikes him out on a high pitch. Quickly, two outs here for the Mudcats. Turner Storm will bat now. Number two. Waterman. Throws a breaking ball in there, strike one, working quickly and establishing a rhythm already. He's recorded five outs so far until now. That's a line drive single up the middle. Center fielder will field it, spin and throw, and it's a base hit for Turner Storm. Waterman had gotten out the first five batters he faced. Going back to the last inning, but Turner Storm singles to bring up Colin Rutledge, the designated hitter for the Blue Ox. Check on the runner, Waterman to Benz. And that one's a close play. Throw over to first, but safe is Storm. Beautiful day here in Milroy. Partly cloudy, but good amount of sun casting its rays across Milroy Yankee Field. And now a third throw in a row over to first base. With two out and a runner on first base, Farley thinks that he might be going. Doesn't go there. Is swing and a miss from Colin Rutledge. Rutledge 0 for 3 with three ground outs. Now lines this one into center field for a hit. Rounding second but holding up is Storm. So now two two out hits for Bemidji. Off of Alex Waterman. Now batting at extra number eight, Caleb Manakee. Caleb Manakee will now bat. The catcher, he singled and stole a base his last time up. That was just in the sixth inning, last inning. Lays off a high fastball for ball one.
two out here. Two runners on. This one whacked foul over the dugout and the VIP seating over that dugout. And the kids will chase after the baseball. 11 hits for Bemidji, 7 for Prior Lake. One error for the Blue Ox. But they have five runs to just one from the Mudcats. And that one misses. Count runs to two and one. From Alex Waterman, who came in relief of Ben Morrison in the sixth inning. And there's a fastball that misses high, three and one. Morrison allowed all five runs. And this one grounded to third base. Gets under the glove of Cross. And now booted by Hackett out. And, and a run will score. Hackett, the left fielder, booted it after it went under the glove of Cross. So Bemidji adds to their lead on two errors in one play from the Mudcats. It's 6-1, Blue Ox over Prior Lake. Now I mean first pick from number 26, Vazil Donkey. Menike made his way to second base on the second error. As there's a line drive hit from Zulki, and another run will score. Manneke is going to round third, and he'll also step on home plate. Diving play back to first, and safe back is Zulki. So things happening quickly for the Blue Ox, and things moving fast for Prior Lake. Storm is already in with the first run of the inning. Rutledge just scored, as did Manneke. And Basil Zulke, who has already homered in this game, now is on first base with a two RBI single. Three RBIs total for the first baseman, number 26. That brings up Hunter Olson. Laid down a sacrifice bunt in his first plate appearance. Owen to the count. And that one nicked Hunter Olsen. You could hear it from here. Just got a piece of his elbow, and Olsen pointed it out to the umpire, who also acknowledges the pain that Olsen is in. He walks to first base and the runner Zolke on first moves to second two out still all this has happened with two out first two batters of this inning were retired but now three more runs have scored Hendricks is the eighth man to bat Caleb Manneke put a ball into play, and there was two errors. Scored that play E5-7, or E5-E7. Hendricks lays off that pitch. That's a strike. Two and one, the count. Zulke on second. Olsen on first. Spin, Waterman brings Zulke back, but doesn't have a defensive counterpart over there at second to throw it to. It's 8-1. to one. So We'll update this scoreboard. Bemidji 
adding to their lead here in the seventh. Now they are the home team. And there is a 10 run rule, but they're only up by seven. They would have to score three more to end this game here in this inning. Full count now. Two strikes, I mean, two outs. Three balls and two strikes. Runners will go on the pitch. That one flied. Looks like in foul territory, might be out of play, and it is. B.J. Benz chasing after it for a while, but it's over the fence and past the bleachers. So we'll do it again with a full count. Connor McNallan is on deck waiting for his turn if this inning is extended. Fouled back into the netting. Mitch Hendricks staying alive. Olsen at first. Zolke at second. As a step around toward second base from Waterman. And now ready to throw. Line flied into center field. Doesn't have to move. Houston is under it. Makes the catch to end the inning. But three runs score, and the new score is eight to one. Blue Ox leads the Mudcats as we go to the eighth inning on PrepSpotlight.tv. What's special about high school sports? The passion. The excitement. The memories. Now a three at the buzzer. Go! Oh. It's good! Du Bois wins it for the Rebels! It's about impacting your community. Connecting your business to this audience. This is where your customers live. Where they shop. This is their circle of life. This is where your business should be. Connect with your best potential customers. This is your invitation. Get in the game. And it'll be Alex Waterman starting us off here in the top of the eighth inning for the Prior Lake Mudcats. Takes ball one from Ethan Upsall, still out there on the hill for Bemidji. Now he swings and knocks a hit into left field. Waterman, his second hit of this game. So a leadoff single, and Jake Lair will come up with a man on first. This one flied into shallow center field. Center fielder Rutledge will camp under it and make the catch for out number one. Still runner Waterman on first base. Ben Kelsey now. The catcher will hit. One for two today with a walk.
This one popped up and out of play foul. Strike one. Now here's the pitch from Upsall, and that's going to miss. One and one the count now with one on and one out here in the top of the eighth inning. Now that one cracked foul on the ground in the left side. And that ball gets by the catcher. Caleb Manicky had to reach far for that one that was in the lefty batter's box. So a wild pitch for Upsall. And the runner, Waterman, will advance to second base. Jake Lair sees a 2-2 count with one out, and now he has a runner on Second, swings at that one on the ground. And the out recorded by Mitch Hendricks. A chopper slowly to the shortstop. And so Waterman advances to third base. Plenty of time for Hendricks to field that one and take a couple steps and throw it down. So now two out, and runner 90 feet away, and Justin Hackett will take his hacks. That one almost hit him. Inside ball one. Upsall allowed one run in the first inning, and zeros on the board since then. We're in the eighth. Squirted to second base, Connor McNallan. Scoops it, misplayed, but recovers and makes the out. Didn't field it cleanly, but barehanded it and threw to first base for the out to end the inning. We go to the bottom of this frame. Bemidji still leaning, leading. 8-1 in the Class C State Amateur Baseball Tournament.
Welcome back to the eighth inning of this battle between Bemidji and Prior Lake. Prior Lake has a new pitcher. The third pitcher of the game will be Luke Weber, the righty. As pitch number one is fouled straight back by Connor McNallan, the only batter that didn't bat in that seventh inning for the Blue Ox. Right-handed pitcher. Luke Weber comes over from second base. And Mike Walerius is now playing second off the bench as this one's flied by McNallan out to center field and running over to it, Johnny Houston, for the routine catch. Out number one. Cody Rutledge now will bat. He's one for four. With Willarius coming in for Weber, who moved to the mound, the previous pitcher, Alex Waterman, slid back to his starting shortstop position. And the starting pitcher, originally Ben Morrison in this game, exited. 0-2 the count to Rutledge. This one swung and fouled. Ben Morrison, the starting pitcher, as we mentioned, for Prior Lake, he went five plus innings with just one strikeout, three walks, nine hits, and five runs allowed. Alex Waterman just exited. We'll have your stats for him in a moment. Swing and a miss, struck out, strikeout. Cody Rutledge goes down swinging. Otto Grimm now with two out here in the bottom of the eighth. Luke Weber making quick work, and this one goes to Valerius at second. Ground ball fielded cleanly. Quick inning for the new pitcher, Luke Weber. Prior Lake heads to the top of the ninth with, for their last chance, down by seven, to stay alive in this state tournament. You're watching PrepSpotlight.tv. Welcome back to the top of the ninth inning. Prior Lake and Bemidji, a pinch hitter for Prior Lake in this last chance for the Mudcats. Greg Fowey, pinch hits and lines one, looping into the right field, down for a base knock. Greg Fowey. Came in in the pitcher's spot, Ben Morrison's spot, who exited. And now Fowey will exit for a pinch runner. Jackson Kessler 
Number seven will run. It's still Ethan Upsall out there in the orange jersey for Bemidji. The starting pitcher in this one has turned in a gem so far. And now Nolan Ryan, another pinch hitter, came in to replace Jared Lair, gets hit. So that was the nine hole hitter, now we're back to the top. Nolan Ryan, what a name. Spelled R-E-I-N. Makes it two men on with nobody out here in the top of the ninth inning for the Mudcats. Johnny Houston looking for his third hit of the day and his fifth at bat. Kessler at second base, the pinch runner. Big swing and a miss from Johnny Houston who has two singles, one in the first and one in the seventh. And there's Ben Morrison, who's going to trot around to coach first base. He's played pitcher, he's bats in the lineup, played shortstop, and now he's out there coaching. With a hard hat on. And that one's lined, hits the mound, and it could be two. Second baseman steps on the bag and throws to first base for the double play. Connor McNallan, nifty play as that ball was knocked on the ground right to him. Now batting at picture number five, Luke Weber. And a runner does move up to third base. That's Kessler. And Luke Weber, now the pitcher, originally the second baseman, will bat the last chance for the Mudcats. Johnny Houston grounded into that double play. 4-3 double play. 1-0 the count from Upsall. There's a strike on the outside corner. Winner plays Cold Spring on Sunday at 3 p.m. at Springfield in the quarterfinals of this Class C State Baseball Tournament. There's strike two, Luke Weber down to his last strike as is Prior Lake. Remember we have one more game after this tonight here in Milroy as that one's grounded to McNallan. Stops it and throws and that's the game. Out number three recorded, 8-1 the final. Bemidji beats Prior Lake 8-1 to one here at Milroy Yankee Field. Congratulations to the Prior Lake Mudcats on a fine season for qualifying for the 2020. So the Mudcats have their season come to a close and Bemidji extends their season. They will play Cold Spring tomorrow in the quarterfinals at 3 p.m. In Springfield. We have one more game coming up here on PrepSpotlight.tv from Milroy. Sartell and Bluffton. Scheduled for a 6 o'clock first pitch. But for now, for Nicholas Earl Beck. I'm Ren Clayton. Thank you for watching on PrepSpotlight.tv. Bemidji wins it 8-1 to over Prior Lake in the Class C State Amateur Baseball Tournament.